Hi, Pop Culture fans. It's Cynthia, and it's been a while since we did a haul video. I'm not sure that's exactly what you'd call these, but we had some fun pop culture finds while we were out um, at the garage sales and the thrift shops this week. So I thought I would show them to you, starting with this Voltron t shirt. And what's particularly unusual about it is it is an adult size shirt with the Voltron label. Um, so we sell a lot of um, pop culture t-shirts on our eBay store, um, especially adult sizes. Uh, we don't really sell kids clothes, but whenever I find something like this for grown-ups, I snatch it up. I got it for like, oh gosh, maybe 50 cents because uh, I got a bundle of shirts and that was the best one of the bunch. One of our other crazy finds this week at a Goodwill store was uh, Lieutenant Uhura here. Let me see if I can get enough for you can really see her. Uh, her face is kind of questionable, but uh, it's definitely Uhura. She's got her little Starfleet uniform on. She's got crazy little earrings. And she's a plush toy from, well, official Star Trek. Um, and again, they gave her to us. I think they gave it to us for like 99 cents because she wasn't marked. So for a buck, we couldn't leave Uhura behind. So even though she's a tad funky in the face, we figured we'd buy her. One of our other great finds uh, at Goodwill, they were putting the cart out. If any of you go to Goodwill uh, regularly, you probably know about the carts. When they roll out new items, they bring a cart out, and if you can grab the stuff before it gets on the shelf, like that's where the best stuff is because it's brand new, it's brand new used, it's in good shape because it hasn't been cracked and messed with on the shelves. We found this super mug. I'm going to try to get it closer so you can see. It's actually textured with like a glitter. I don't know if you can see that in the video. And then it says Disneyland Resort. And we've got Sorcerer Apprentice Mickey on the back too. Let's see what we got down here. Made in Thailand. But we thought that this was particularly unusual, this glittery crackle finish. So we bought that to keep for ourselves. That's part of our collection right now. Um, a lot of what we got this week we're keeping. We normally are buying for Goodwill for um, eBay, but not this time. So our best finds, let me save those for last. This is one of today's finds. This is a Pac-Man 2 challenging puzzle game, and it is deceptively hard. That's why it says 8 and up. Assemble four Pac-Men and then reassemble to form three Pac-Men. Um, oh, I didn't try the three. And you'll see, I actually finished the puzzle, but no joke, it took two of us quite a long time to make it happen. And the reason it's tricky is that there are eyes on pieces that are not eye pieces. Otherwise, it would be too easy to just say, oh, here's the four eyes and put them in. Now, you're supposed to be able to take these and assemble, I assumed, three whole ones. Since each Pac-Man's missing a piece, you can make three whole Pac-Men. But I don't know if that's actually the truth. So... It's a Pac-Man game. It's from 1982, and it's in really good shape. I mean, it's plastic. It's kind of hard to mess up. Um, so that was kind of a cool find. We haven't looked that up yet on eBay to see what that's worth, but uh, we wanted to play it. And I'm so glad I beat my son at it. Our real find is this. We can't even believe it. We are always looking for one particular type of item. We go to garage sales. We never find it. And... I, we found a garage sale completely by accident. Put back man back in the screen here. Completely by accident, we got lost trying to find an estate sale. I missed the turn, and then I see a sign for a full-on uh, community garage sale. We pull in, lovely neighborhood, get around to the end, and there's a table full of old toy, old uh, games from like the 70s. I was pulled in by a spaceship game that I didn't recognize. While I'm looking at that, my husband's standing just like, no joke, three inches from me going, how are you not seeing what's laying three inches away, which was this. 
That's right, our very first Irwin Allen garage sale find. We always joke whenever we head out to garage sales that maybe we could find some rare lost in space toy. And of course we never do. But we did find this and it was really exciting. The box is a little bit thrash, but not horrible. And if you're not familiar, it's a card game inside. And uh, we actually owned this game at one point uh, back in the past. We sold off a lot of our collection when we moved. And of course, we're buying our collection back again, because that's how you do these things. So it's a Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea card game. It is from the 60s. So it's original to the era. And I believe it's played kind of like Go Fish, I think. Uh, I don't know if we've ever actually played the game. But very exciting to find. And we didn't even bother counting the cards. It's really rare to find anything like this. So we were going to buy it no matter what. We call it rescuing. Even if we had it, we would have bought it because we can't leave our Allen things behind. Um, the girl wanted... She said it was her husband's collection. I think she wanted 10 for it originally. We kind of, eh, and then she said she'd go to seven. And then when we threw in the Pac-Man game, I said, how about 10 for the two? And she was like, nah, how about, what'd she go to? 12, which was six each. And um, I said yes to that. And she said her husband was going to kill her for selling them so cheap because he looked everything up, all the games, of course, up on eBay before he put them out. But he didn't have them priced, you know, and I hate that at a garage sale. If you want me to buy something, put a price tag on it, at least a starting price, because I could have assumed she wanted $30, $40 and didn't even ask. Um, so I kind of think we should, probably should have picked up more of the games she had, but these were the most recognizable ones. And if I figure that we paid the whole 12 just to buy this Voyage game, which we would have, um, I don't mind paying that for the Pac-Man, even if it doesn't sell for that much. So our final find was one for me that my husband found at a Goodwill. This is kind of a bizarre one. Put it in here. So he found this in the frame section. So they were selling the frame. They just didn't bother to take out what was in the frame, which I'm glad they didn't. Because what this is is a caricature from Universal Studios. Let me hold a little bit closer so you can see that logo. There's an old Universal City... Universal Studios logo, if I can get that to focus, there we go. Um, so clearly somebody went to the park, Dale, went to the park and had somebody draw his caricature on a Universal Studios piece of paper and he framed it in his home and somebody at some point donated it. Um, we're thinking it's probably, oh gosh, 70s or older, could be 80s. It's not, I doubt, would it be 90s, the logo's too old. If anybody's an expert on Universal Studio logos, I should be, but I don't know it off the top of my head. You can tell me when this is from. Um, so it's really cool. So it's weird that we bought somebody else's caricature, but I could not pass, again, a chance to get a Universal Studios old collectible. So we got that, too. So that's my finds. Um, we bought, like, a ton of other stuff, T-shirts and things that'll go up on our eBay uh, store, but these items were for us to keep, and, well, some of them, <laughs> some of them you'll see over there at Boris Basement, and let's see, before I turn this video off, let's see, because I'm shooting in a different place today, try to get a little more sunlight, let's see if I can show you something, if I can move slowly enough, look what we have here, a little tricky to see with the reflection, but that is a Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, Sea View, which is why we were so excited, if you don't know us, to find the Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea game. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, right there. Huge collectors. If you follow me, you might already know that. But yes, that's a model my husband built. We have Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea stuff everywhere. Even if we go up, if we can go back a little bit more. You'll see, eh, a little hard to see with the Claire, photos from Voyage, along with our family photos. Yes, we are that geeky. So that's it for me right now. If you found anything really cool, pop culture items on your hunts, thrift shops, garage sale hunts, or even in your own garage, tell me about them in the comments below, because I love vicariously living through the goodies that you guys find.